Hello everyone, this is Minister LT, and I'm delighted to share another word from my Heavenly Father God. And today's word and message is, I made it through. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, because out there in this world today, somebody made it through. I don't know who it is out there today, but somebody don't made it through, and they don't went through a lot in their lifetime. And as you look back and reflect on your life, and you will see how you made it through. But you got to remember one thing. Remember one thing, you only made it through because your Heavenly Father God was right there with you. He was right there holding your hand through the whole storm. That's why you made it through. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before I get started, I would like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God the thanks and praise and glory because He deserves it all. I want to thank you again, oh Heavenly Father God, for blessing me and all your children today for another beautiful and awesome day today. Thank you for the breath that you put inside our lungs. Thank you for our eyes that we can see, our ears that we can hear, our mouth that we can speak to you. We want to thank you because we love you, Jesus. We want to thank you not because we want something from you, but we want to thank you because who you are and what you stand for, how glorified you are, how worthy you are, how awesome you are, how giving you are. You're the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. For that reason right there, we want to thank you because you the one died for our sins. You died for our sins. You still love us even though through our imperfection when we don't deserve, you still love us the same. Now, if they ain't, they ain't enough to thank you for, I don't know what else is. For that reason right there, y'all, if God woke you up each and every day and he bless you with life and he bless you with breath, you need to thank him. Just don't think, thank him because you want something. You want to thank him, you want to thank him, you want to thank him because you're in love with Jesus. Thank him. Glorify his holy name. I dare you to tell somebody right now, say, Jesus, I just want to say thank you. Tell your neighbor that. Tell your wife that. Tell your brother that. Tell whoever it is that's near you. Or you by yourself to say you want to say, Jesus, I thank you. That's all you got to tell them. Just tell them that you thank them. And you love them with all your heart. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And we're reading from the verses 9 through 10. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 through 10. And if you're ready, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boost all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may, may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness and insults and hardships and, per, and per, persecutions and difficulties for when I am weak then I am strong and this subject right here when I say made it through I'm just going to just preach a little bit today I'm just going to get home when I say I made it through I can just look back and reflect on my life before I became a minister when I was out there selling drugs at an early age hanging out with the wrong people hanging out with the wrong crowd Hanging out outside all through the midnight hours. I don't lost a couple of friends. I ain't got a couple of scars. Even when I lost my father at 17. I lost my mother when I was 27. Through all that, I made it through. When some of my friends turned their back against me. When some of my, 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 my family members turned their back against me. Guess who, I, guess who was there still with there with me? My heavenly father God, he still had his hands on me. He still was watching me. He still was guiding me. He still was protecting me. So I, I made it through. And everybody can't say that, so I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that I made it through. So when people didn't think I was going to make it through, I made it through. And by the grace of God and His grace and His mercy was so sufficient towards me through the hard times, He was still there. So I made it. And I'm so glad that I made it. Because His grace and His mercy, that's why I made it. And I know if it ain't just for me. Somebody out there too, don't went through the same thing I went through. And they probably going through the same thing. And you just look back at your life. Reflect back on your life. And see how you're glad that you don't made it through. And just look and examine how you went through it. And how you went through it, guess who was right there with you the whole time? Guess who was right there holding you up? Jesus. So be glad that you made it through. It'll made you wiser now. It'll made you stronger now. It'll made you a better person now. So be glad, be glad, be glad that you made it through. Be glad that you went through the storm. Be glad you went through the battlefield. But you got to thank God for that you made it through. 
because it was his grace and his mercy that was so sufficient towards you and me and everybody else out there in this world today. That's why we made it through. Be glad that we made it. Be glad that you made it through. Now, that's why we serve an awesome God. That's why we serve a delivering God. That's why we serve a God that he worked his, his magic and his powers. All of us. Because we made it through. Now, I know somebody need to be shouting praise in Jesus' name right now. You need to be glorified because I know I do each and every day. I'm 39 years old. I can just look back how I made it through. I ain't know how I was going to make it when I lost my father at 17. I ain't know how I was going to make it when I lost my mother at 27. I ain't know how I was going to make it when I was standing outside all through the, the um, midnight hours doing wrong things. But some of my friends died, but I didn't die. Some of my friends went to jail, but I didn't go to jail. I don't know how I made it. I don't know how I made it, but I'm so glad I made it through because of my God, because of my God was so great to me. He was so merciful towards me that I made it through. And I don't want to do every kind of storm that you can possibly think of because his grace and his mercy was so sufficient towards me and everybody else don't want to go through the same thing that I went through because his grace and his mercy was so sufficient. That's why you made it through. Godly, God's good. And he still have a plan for you. And this plan's going to work. And this plan for me was to minister his word. That's what I've been doing. It don't matter if I had the same people. It don't matter if the same people that watch my videos each and every day. That let me know that it's working. I got to thank him. I got to glorify his holy name for that. Because his plans is still working for me. And I'm so glad that I made it. I'm so glad I made it through. I'm so glad I made it through. That storm. I'm so glad I made it through that battlefield. Even though I got some scars on me. But I still made it through. Even though some of y'all got some scars on y'all. But you made it through. And the reason why you made it through. Because God's grace and his mercy. Was so sufficient towards y'all. His right hand was watching y'all the whole time. The whole way. Even we wanted to give up. Even we wanted to throw in the towel. He was right there with us. Now give him praise. Give him glory. Shout out his holy name right now. Say, thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad that I made it. I'm going to say, thank you, Jesus, because of you, I made it through the storm. I'm going to say, thank you, Jesus, because, because of you, I made it through that battlefield. Yeah, I got some wounds on me because of your grace and your mercy and how you watched over me and how you favored me. I made it through. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because of you, we made it through. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I know this message meant for somebody today. Just look back and examine of your life. Look with every, all the hardship you done went through. All the storms that you done went through. All the crying you went through. All the worrying you done went through. Tell God that you, you're glad you made it through. And if you cry like I cry sometimes, just think back and say, you know what? It ain't no cry for sad cry. It's a cry that I'm happy. It's a cry that I can look back and reflect on my life and see how much I done went through and how God was there for me. I made it through. That's the only reason why you're crying for. That's the only reason why you're tearing up for. Because you're glad that you made it through. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to say thank you, Jesus. You're awesome. you glorified. You're more than worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We want to say thank you. So glad that we made it. I'm just going to end this message today. And if you receive this word today, shout out amen. And I never leave my short broadcast, but I leave with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus. I ask of you that come into my life to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God will hurt working everything out in y'all life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is Withers, capital W, I-T-H-E-R-S dot L-T. Be glad you made it. Keep God first place in your life, y'all. He will show you things. Be glad. Be glad. Be happy that you made it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you all again for always tuning in to listen to another word from Minister LT. Keep God first place, y'all. I love y'all. Stay blessed.